Recent research has confirmed the existence of a feeding event in Andromeda. There is mounting evidence that galactic collisions play a crucial role in propelling the expansion of the universe. Hubble and other large telescopes have captured incredibly sharp images of well-known interacting galaxies such as ARP-248. Andromeda is the largest local group member because it has recently expanded its size by consuming two smaller galaxies. Objects in Andromeda's orbit provide evidence that the galaxy may not have been grazing, but rather consuming large amounts at least twice, essentially being a galaxy eater. Recent research has established a link between massive galaxies and the phenomenon of galactic cannibalism, in which smaller galaxies are devoured by their larger counterparts. Sporadic hunger. The discovery that at least one of the large galaxies has engaged in this sporadic feeding of small galaxies helps paint a clearer picture of how our local universe has come together. The globular cluster is the central focus of this investigation. Because of their age, these clusters of stars have a lower metallicity. There are at least 150 galaxies in the Milky Way, and most likely many more, but their precise function in the history of the universe's galaxies remains unknown. Clusters of stars known as globulars are more common in the galaxy's halo, while open clusters are more common in galactic disks. Scientists just recently found a collection of globulars in Andromeda's inner halo that all share the same metallicity. Astronomers call stars metallic if they have elements other than hydrogen and helium. Since the globular's metallicity is lower than that of most stars in the Andromeda galaxy, they are not native to the system. An additional sign of the age is the lower abundance of heavy elements in the early universe. Lewis coined the term Dulai structure, which describes a black stream of globular clusters. The Dulai structure, a cluster of 10 to 20 globulars, is probably rotated at an angle relative to Andromeda. But they aren't the only misaligned globular clusters out there. An alien structure? The Dulai structure indicates that Andromeda consumed a group of globular clusters within the past 5 billion years. The second feeding event occurred between 8 and 10 billion years ago, as evidenced by the more spherical shape of the second population. The higher metallicity globulars, shown as blue dots, are easily visible against the backdrop of the gray ellipse depicting Andromeda's rotation. Essentially, those non-native stars could come from pretty much everywhere, including the far corners of the galaxy. Newer, bluer globulars with higher metallicities rotate more in sync with Andromeda's galaxy. There is less metal in the green and red globules compared to the blue and yellow ones. The galaxy probably ingests them because their rotation is counterclockwise with respect to Andromeda's. Lewis and his co-authors claim that the globular clusters are different in kinematics and metallicity from other clusters in the area. While the Andromeda galaxy spins in one direction, the Dulai structure spins in the other. The Dulai structure is the remnant of an enormous feeding event that occurred recently. It takes the form of a dark stream surrounded by star clusters that orbit in a way that is unique to Andromeda. This research challenges a more tranquil view of galactic expansion by showing that larger galaxies expand by eating smaller systems. Scientists find the Dulai structure to be disorganized and chaotic. Bright star clusters dot a dark passageway. This is undeniable evidence that large galaxies eat smaller globules in forms of galactic cannibalism and that massive galaxies merge to create enormous displays across the cosmos. So the obvious follow-up question is, well, what exactly was consumed? Why? Because it doesn't appear to be just one thing. It appears to be a collection of things that are all slowly being torn apart. Galaxy Eater Galactic cannibalism has been known to astronomers for several decades now, and it describes the process by which larger galaxies consume smaller ones. During these cosmic refill periods, the density of matter rose. This may have been the case everywhere in the universe 10 billion years ago. This is one of the many factors that keeps researchers on the lookout for ways to improve telescopes like the James Webb. They can peer even further back in time by analyzing the light of faraway galaxies. The universe today appears to be bursting at the seams with galaxies, in contrast to its disorder pre-Big Bang state. 
Is it possible that those galaxies were created or evolved? In layman's terms, astronomers are interested in the origins of the Milky Way galaxy. You can count on everyone's full backing. It's challenging to maintain objectivity while taking part in this change. Whatever the case may be, scientists are jumping at the opportunity Andromeda presents to re-evaluate the history of the galaxy. As a spiral galaxy like the Milky Way, Andromeda can explain the mechanisms at work on Earth during a catastrophic event. Typical characteristics of a spiral galaxy include a dense inner core and spiraling arms that extend outwards from the disk's periphery. Spiral galaxies like our own Milky Way may be found throughout the universe. Spiral, barred spiral, elliptical, and irregular galaxies are the four main types used to categorize these objects. When these dwarf galaxies collide and merge, they become enormous galaxies. An expanding disk is created during the merger process, and it is in this disk that new stars are produced. Gravitational influences from passing tiny galaxies cause the disks to take on a spiral shape. Most of the nearby bright galaxies are spirals like our own Milky Way. The size and mass distribution range for spirals is the tightest of all the common shapes. Their masses may be anywhere from 1,010 to 4,010 times those of our Sun, and their diameters can be anywhere from 16,300 to 163,000 light years. Before astronomers can make definitive claims about the Milky Way or mergers and acquisitions in general, more research may be required. One day, hopefully not too far off, we'll have a fuller picture of the galaxy's past. Whether or not the Milky Way has done the same is the real question. Both of these have interesting consequences for our knowledge of galaxy formation. To incorporate these times into our models of galaxy evolution, we need a more accurate clock. Researchers are currently limited by a simplified timeline depicting the development of the Dulai structure. A Millennium Dinner Both the passage of time and the specific chemical makeup of the substance at hand play crucial roles. Once their distances are known, a clearer picture of the globular's histories and Andromeda's consumption of them can emerge. Although many researchers are hesitant to use the term globulars until more evidence is gathered to describe the concept, the term Dulai structure was created. Then we can determine how long this has been going on and what factors have led to it. There is uncertainty as to whether the signatures we observe originates from a single large disrupting object or seven smaller ones, so we are unable to give it a galaxy-like name. As a result, we can confidently call it an alien structure rather than a specific galaxy. The Andromeda galaxy and the Dulai structure are connected, but the reasons for this connection are unknown. When asked about the discovery's significance, scientists said it's opened a new door into terms of our understanding. Not even now do we have a clue as to what it all means. The paper presents convincing evidence in support of the author's claims. Using a sample of globular clusters in Andromeda's outer halo, astronomers were able to identify a younger accretion event, and it's interesting to see that this Dulai structure's orbital axis lines up with it. If this link holds, the globular clusters that make up the Dulai structure could have moved over the last few billion years due to the accretion of a massive progenitor equal to the size of about 1,011 solar masses into the Andromeda halo. The Milky Way and Andromeda appear to be drawing closer to one another despite the fact that space itself may be expanding. Since the Big Bang 13.82 billion years ago, the universe has been expanding. While the Andromeda galaxy is the brightest member of our local group, it receives surprisingly little attention. This is because the universe's expansion is too weak to overcome the gravitational pull of the universe, except at the largest scales. Gravity is sufficient to hold the universe together, and slow its expansion compared to the size of stars, galaxies, and clusters of galaxies. The Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy are becoming increasingly entangled as the former moves closer to the latter. Scientists estimate that the Milky Way Galaxy will appear sometime after 5 billion years. What will humanity accomplish by then? Tell us in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos like this.